is a very funny and gifted show person who has the radiant energy of a thousand suns. Her new movie is called Queen Pins. It's in select Cinemark theaters now and comes to Paramount Plus September 30th. Please welcome Kristen Bell. <laughs> Say, I, you look great, first of all. You look wonderful. Thank you. So do you. Is this mine? That is yours. I have yeah. these glasses. They're from Costco. <laughs> do you? Are they Costco glasses? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, your husband, Dax, and I have a strong... We first bonded over Costco. That was the thing that oh, I think I brought know. us together. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, that aside, you, um, you and I and Dax and my wife, Molly, and yes. our various children had it like a kind of a convoy in, in Idaho this Yeah, we summer. met up in Idaho. We met up in Idaho. Week. It was heaven. It, it was, was wonderful. It was very nice. We drove our RV. Uh-huh, we you, drove ours. Right, and we parked right next to each other. Uh-huh, and that was humiliating. Well, <laughs> only because you got a mini Winnie and uh -huh. we have a tour bus. Yeah, yeah. That's the only reason. Now, yours isn't an RV. I don't think it's fair for you to call it an RV. because Why? it has two It's bathrooms? a bus. It's in a different category. You have a bus. My husband is in a different category. Yeah. You know what I mean? He, he is. He's, he is a beast, and he likes to drive that big old bus. And yeah, it's got two <laughs> bathrooms in there, and it's, it's fun. You know what this means, though, is that I'm just by my nature am going to have to buy something even larger than no, this. There's I'm going to be dragging. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a, get a tractor, Jimmy, and I'm going to. There's gonna, nothing larger. I'm going to drag like a whole. <laughs> <laughs> is there really nothing larger? No. Wow. It's 45 feet, and then um, we also towed, as you know, the um, like a trailer <laughs> bed with the razor on it, which was our car, which is, yeah, because it has, um, because it's street legal in the states we were in, and then the girl's motorcycle, Stax's motorcycle, and a quad, and when he's driving the bus, he goes, 65 feet of rolling thunder, and then the girls <laughs> yell, rolling thunder! <laughs> Yeah, I get none of that. I don't get any rolling thunder. I'm going to be honest. Mine's a piece of junk. It breaks. The latches come off. It's garbage. Well, they they do break a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. They didn't tell me that when I bought it. That's for sure. There's a lot of upkeep with those RVs. Did yours break a lot? Did you? Well, we well we blew out six tires. Oh, well, that's a lot trip, of them. On the whole trip, we went to three states, stopped to see you, Wyoming, Montana, and there were po portions where we were um, looking out the rear view mirror and we're like. Are we driving on a ball of yarn? Really, <laughs> sincerely a ball of yarn. And all six were fine. The first one, Dax was figuring out how to change and we didn't have a jack. So the girls and I walked like down the street and found a fire department. Great, find some helpers. Two sweet firemen walked over and were like, well, let's see what's going on. And Dax had taken, so we had these ramps that get all of the quads and stuff off the trailer. Mm -hmm. And he had driven over one to lift the trailer bed and was doing it all himself. And he felt very efficient. Yes. But the, I know, right? But the last one we blew, let me tell you what's not a joke. When Salt Lake City or Utah in general tells you that they close at six, they're not kidding, okay? <laughs> we blew a tire at 559. We, we must have called sincerely 25 places. No one would open, no one was open. They were at home with their families, God bless. But so we pulled into a Walmart parking lot, spent most of the evening with a trucker named Bob <laughs> and waited to get a new tire. Bob was hanging out in the yeah, parking Bob lot too? Bob was walking his little dog, my girls love That's him. a great thing that Walmart does. They'll let you, like when you're in a pinch, and I've been there, park I've anywhere. been in that Walmart parking lot myself, they let you park your RV in there. You park anything in there. You park overnight. You just go camp in the parking lot. I'm thinking of retiring to a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> I would follow you. Because the idea is you can go in and get stuff. Yeah. But they didn't have tires in there, I guess. No, the tire section was closed. Of course. Yeah. That's Because if the tire section is open, nobody stays in the parking Bingo. lot. Bingo. Yeah, that makes sense. You brought a... Uh, now, I just want to tell you something. I um, spent an extended period of time in Idaho. I wasn't, like, moving around that much. And the people that I know up there all think you guys are crazy. That was, I did not feel that going there. Yeah. Afterwards, all the that. talk, and oh. it's really more Dax than you. It's really just it? Dax. It, it's, well, Is it, Jimmy? Yeah. You know why? Because I know what you're going to say. You know what I'm going to say? But they didn't see you working out. But what they did see in the parking lot was a man 
towing 65 feet of rolling thunder. Yeah. Um, who also brings an entire gym along Underneath with him. Underneath the bus, there's a lot of pullouts, and he put his big bar, and he put all the weights and all these bands, and yeah. So look, you can't stop pumping just because you're on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because you know he's a big boy now. <laughs> yeah, he's okay? yes. So you gotta pump. So every, yeah, like mid morning, we'd have our coffee and the girls would be playing or something. And we'd, it's around 10 a.m., we'd pull everything out and we would just pump in the parking lot of uh -huh. your beautiful yes. place in Idaho. But okay, D let's roll the video that you, you shot okay. of Dax here. Because it's raining now, it's, rain it's a rainy day. And there is Mr. <laughs> Universe doing deadlifts in the parking lot. Yeah, but he looks great. <laughs> I mean. But I have to say, this had an effect on the whole town. I mean, they just can't believe it happened. They're like, yeah, no, we had weights. You, you set them up in the parking lot. You see that hillbilly outside working out in the parking lot? <laughs> that very muscular hillbilly, yeah. <laughs> Love it. You also went uh, whitewater rafting. I did not join that. Though. I didn't either. Oh, no, right. You didn't go on that but, trip either. But Dax did, and he took our oldest daughter, but we didn't take our youngest because Molly and your daughter had gone the day before, and they were like, it was, like, turbulent. My daughter is seven years old, and it was the worst day of her life. Like, she hated it. <laughs> but... Dax and my oldest are kind of like risk takers uh -huh. and they're ballers and they were like, let's go. And it, it, they were, it was a. So yep. here we see a happy group of people. Yeah. And um, this was kind of like a, a family group camping thing. Um, yeah, we had, friends. we blurred some of the children's faces out, but uh, there's Johnny Knoxville. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is nothing for him. I mean, like, you know, he, and there's your husband, <laughs> right? Dax. There's Naomi, right? Naomi Scott. Yeah, Naomi, Adam, and then um, you've got, um, where's right. Jake's oh, right there. Jake Tapper of yep. CNN right here, <laughs> rowing hard. Okay. <laughs> All right. And my husband was very excited to be on the whitewater rafting trip. Uh huh. Then things take a turn for the wet, and um, <laughs> you can see now Jake has gone underwater. And um, your husband is not paddling. Not paddling. <laughs> and now Jake is completely submerged. Jake is on the verge of being part of the news. <laughs> and Dax is still not paddling. Well, all right. <laughs> I, I think that. No, here's my theory because uh -huh. I don't know. I think maybe Jake and Dax were having a little bit of an alpha off. Uh -huh. Perhaps. And like Jake went to the front, maybe to like give some leadership. Dax thought he was taking morale in the back. And I think that Dax maybe got carried away with There's the no such thing as morale on a, on a whitewater raft. Disagree. And, There's morale everywhere. Jimmy. <laughs> in fact, um, Jake sent a video uh, today. To, I think he, he was actually in the middle of doing the show. Play that video, will you? Jimmy, just for the record, uh, whatever Dax says, um, I don't think he paddled once in that entire trip. He just held the paddle above his head when the, when the camera was there and flexed and yelled at the rest of us to paddle. It was quite bizarre behavior. Hey, see, you know, that's, are you saying that's fake news or do you agree with that account? I, I wasn't there, right? <laughs> and, but based on the pictures, it seems that Jake does have a point. <laughs> yeah. But my husband had a great time. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, your friend is going to be here. New movie is called Queen Pins. Uh, we'll be back with Prison Bell and Kirby Howell Baptiste. Thanks for watching. And remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.